Welcome to the Makerspace at Home Edition. For today's take and make, we're going to make a hydraulic box. In addition to what's included in your kit, you'll need a cup of water and scissors. Rulers and a pencil is optional. You should have several pieces of cardboard in your kit. For now, we only need the rectangle shaped ones. Cut the rectangle piece into 8 pieces. These will act like hinges or connections between the walls of your box. Fold these pieces in half. You can use something like a pencil to help you create a cleaner crease. Now you can take a foam adhesive square and attach your hinge to your first wall. This will actually be the bottom of your box. Make sure your edges align. For this last hinge, you'll want to put it off center for a later step. With your next cardboard square, create a hole at the bottom. I found it easier to cut out a triangle shape. Take this piece and line it up with the hinge that is off center and attach it with a foam adhesive square. Putting the foam adhesive squares closer to the creases of the folds will create a more sturdy box. Now you can attach the remaining walls. To secure all the walls, create more hinges and attach them to the sides of each wall. For the lid, begin by cutting your straw into 1 inch pieces. Trim the skewer down to the length of the lid using a pair of scissors to create an indent which will make it easier to snap off. Use some tape to attach one piece of straw to the very edge of the wall with the opening on the bottom. Now we're going to take some more tape and this time three pieces of the straws and tape these together. Make sure they're flat. Trim away any excess tape. Do this again to get two pieces and then string them onto your bamboo skewer followed by one more piece of straw. Insert this into the straw that's already attached to the wall of the box and then secure the other end with more tape. Moving on to the lid, get your remaining cardboard square and attach on two pieces of straw with a gap in the middle. This is where we will start installing the hydraulic system. Take the syringe with the adapter and slide it onto the skewer in between the two straws. If your adapter is not connected to the syringe or comes off, you can reattach it by aligning the grooves and sliding it in place. Now you can attach the lid by adding on some foam adhesive squares to the sections of three pieces of straw. Hold the lid in an upright position before adhering, and remove the syringe if it gets in your way. This is another hinge that allows your lid to open and close. Take the piping and insert it to the tip of the syringe. Have the piping go through the hole in the wall. Now fill the other syringe with some water. Do this slowly to avoid any air bubbles. If you have some food dye, you can color the water if you'd like. Insert the tip into the pipe and push to activate the hydraulic system. Read more about how this works and try out some of the challenges that are in the instruction booklet. We'd love to see what you come up with. Tag us on Instagram at mplcreates or email us at mplcreates at milwaukee.gov. Visit the survey link to share your feedback, and until next time, thanks for watching and happy making!